Welcome back. We now head out to the IBC headquarters here in Nairobi where reporter Sam Gituku is on standby. We do understand that the IEBC is about to release uh, the numbers for the voter registration, the mass voter registration exercise that ended on Sunday. A very good afternoon to you, Sam. Do you have an indication of the numbers yet or we still have to wait for the IEBC? Right, good afternoon to you, Fred. As you said, the IABC is expected to, in about 30 minutes, release the data, the numbers, as we have been calling them in terms of how many people have been registered for the 35 days that had been allocated or rather allowed for the mass vote registration and of course this is, a, this is a crucial moment especially for the political parties which will be waiting for those numbers to be in a position to map out and see how are they faring in, the, in terms of uh, how many new voters have been netted in their strongholds and of course uh, as we proceed on and wait for those figures it will be also be very critical to see uh, for instance how are people voting in the year 2013 and how is that uh, what are the frame are supposed or rather likely to change uh, depending on the numbers that you'll be receiving but also uh, Fred something very important uh, which we've been seeing uh, from the previous uh, times that they have been the IEBC has been releasing figures is that um, uh, out of the target of 6.1 million new voters they may not have been in a position to achieve that it could be uh, anything between 3.5 million and 4 million of course these are figures that we'll be expecting to be uh, confirmed by the IEBC the commissioners will be uh, led by the chairperson uh, Wafula Chebukati and then going into seeing how were the various region, regions that were uh, being targeted, how did they fare in terms of uh, the percentage of those people who had been targeted and those who eventually came out to enroll. And of course this comes at a crucial time that um, uh, the vote registration in the prisons has begun, Fred. Uh, we've been told that uh, out of the 119 uh, prisons across the country, the registration is supposed to begin. Uh, they are targeting about 10,000 uh, prisoners who, according to the IEBs and also the prisons department, uh, have the identification documents, that is the national identity cards, uh, bearing in mind that um, out of the population, the prison population of about 50,000, there are those who are Kenyans, there are those who are not Kenyans, and there are those uh, who are juvenile, there are those who are adults, but essentially there are those people who are in a position uh, to access the identity cards, which uh, the IABC will be trying to get to enroll. So we'll be expecting an update uh, in, in, in regards to th th this process as ha having begun uh, the full the, the full um, launch ha having, ha having happened uh, earlier today, we'll be expecting to hear of an update in terms of uh, how many people are having challenges, the prisoners are having challenges in terms of accessing the identification documents uh, for this, uh, this enrollment. But of course, the true picture will be coming at about 2 o'clock, so in about uh, 25 or so minutes, so that we can get the clear picture of uh, how we'll be approaching the election uh, come August. But finally, Fred, of importance to, to say is that uh, after this process, after the IBC announces this result, uh, there will be a, a a process of uh, cleaning up the register bearing in mind that uh, before this process began on January 16th there had been 15.3 uh, million voters who had been registered but of course that is a, a register that uh, the ABC has been saying that um, there could be ha there could be some people who have died or there could have been cases of double registration so the process this is a process that has to be uh, gone through to clear all those names which, which do not belong to that register but for more details we'll be expecting to hear from the IEBC uh, starting two o'clock Fred well, thank you, Sam. Sam, again, uh, Sam Gituku there uh, for coming to us live from the IBC headquarters here in Nairobi. Of course, we do expect the IBC to release the final figures from the mass voter registration exercise that ended on Sunday. Well, next up is the business news.